Hi, today we're going to talk about merging spreadsheets. A common use case here is that you have one team that manages one spreadsheet and another team that manages another. Your job is to combine that information, make it both presentable and actionable without wrecking the work that the original creators did. So let's jump right into that using EasyMorph. So within EasyMorph, I can add data. So we're going to import our spreadsheet, but obviously I, there's all sorts of other things that we could import. In this case, we'll just go straight spreadsheet. So we're going to say import Excel spreadsheet. I'm going to find that one. So I'm going to bring over my features spreadsheet. Notice that it populates all my data. It's nice and clean. If I had multiple spreadsheets or multiple sheets within this workbook, they would all be there. I could add a column with the sheet name. I can skip lines if data doesn't look right. I can also do things like say that columns do not have headers or load only specific columns. In this case, I just want to keep everything here. Um, now I need to bring over my other spreadsheet. So in this case, we'll do a quick time saving feature and we're just going to drag and drop that right here. So now we have both sets of data. I know that in Excel, I could do a VLOOKUP or some sort of power query um, to merge my data set. But in this case, we're going to use Easy Morph and use the merge feature. So I would like to bring over the type and the size based on the store ID. So if I want to do that, I can click on features, click add new action, and I'm going to locate the merge function. So I can do a little type up here on find action, and I'm going to say merge another table. I'm going to say add columns from stores to this table, which is store, and it's related to store. We can do a lookup, a left join, or a full join. I'm going to do a left join and I'm going to choose the columns that I'd like to come over. In this case, we want type and size. I can click apply and we're going to see all the way to the right hand side that those two pieces of uh, data have come over. We also see this nice little indicator that this information came from another source. Now for the next step, we would like to export this into its own spreadsheet. So I'm going to add another action. I'm going to say export and look at all my options and in this case I'd like to export it into a new Excel spreadsheet. I'm going to give this file a name so I'm going to say sample merge and if the file exists I'd like to overwrite it and I'm going to give it a spreadsheet name. In this case I'm going to save my save my project here test and now I'm going to say run all actions. We see that it completed, and if I open that folder up, we see sample merge. And if I look at it, I am going to see the data is exactly how it came over in EasyMorph. And that is how you merge two spreadsheets together.